Well guys, this is one of the coldest day of, days of the year so far. It was minus 33 Celsius this morning before wind chill. They said with wind chill it was like minus, I don't know, around 40 or something stupid like that. Panel's got a light dusting of snow. Got the work trailer here and the work Jeep. And uh, I got the melted lock because I had to flame through it with the torch a few times. We got, <coughs> excuse me, something new going on here. System's changed a little bit. Got a four kilowatt Chevy Volt battery, 48 volt, two 48 volt modules. This is Gen 1, I believe, so they're two kilowatts each. We got <coughs> the 12S BMS right here. This is with uh, Bluetooth, so I can see it on my phone. It's amazing. I really like that. <coughs> Sorry, that BMS. The BMS is only like, I think that was like 60 bucks. Very good. And then we got the reliable electric inverter up here. We're going to be running a heater tomorrow morning on our way to work just to keep the trailer warm while we drive so the compressor starts. <coughs> and we'll be charging some of our batteries. Uh, we're sitting at 70, 73% on the battery, so that should get us to work. Um, only got a 100 watt panel on the roof, so the panel is pretty much useless. I, I'm going to be putting a thousand watts worth up there, but I'm limited by my charge controller right now. I got to get a bigger one. Uh, th that reliable also runs my compressor uh, that we use when we the power on the site is no good or it doesn't work, and I can't run this because this takes like retarded amounts to start. It takes Pretty much an 8,000 watt inverter to start this thing. Or a really good good low frequency uh, inverter, like 6,000 watts-ish would probably start it. Um, anyways, just a little update for you guys. It's the exact same system that I have in the trailer. Now I have it in my work trailer. Same four kilowatts. <coughs> and uh, same inverter, same four kilowatts, same charge controller, same BMS. Just not as many solar panels on the roof right now. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hey guys, how's it going? It's going off grid again. Just giving you a little update on the work we did on the, on the work trailer. It's raining today, I don't know if you can see it. It's not raining that bad right now, but it's nasty. And just above freezing. <coughs> and uh, so, one of my workers and I, we stayed home from uh, work and as we work outside framing and show you what we did today. The trailer was a mess, disgusting mess. We clean this thing about once a year, little intermittent cleanings in, in between, but so this is what we got now. We didn't really clean this site up that much yet. What we did was we added some more shelving at the back, as you can see. Got all of our Hitachi guns here. <coughs> it was JIT. That's called a JIT. It's some weird off brand gun. It's okay. It doesn't work that great. Got our cap nailers. We got our parts guns. We got our staples, staplers, our roofing gun, our hanger gun. <coughs> all right. We got two hanger guns. One doesn't have a hook because when they repaired it, they forgot to put the hook back on for me. Uh, one thing I had to do. Take the plans, put them in a better spot so they don't roll around when I'm driving. Alright, we got all this and what I wanted to show you is the new solar system. We got 4 kilowatts of Chevy Volt battery now on the trailer. We got just one of these crappy MPT uh, 7210As. They're not that good. They're 29 bucks. They'll get you by. Like I, I had a, a e smart e smart 3 a 20 amp charge controller hooked it up it turned on and then I took the negative out because I, I, I didn't like the way the wire went so I, and then I put it back in and I made a hundred percent sure it was in the right spot spark something blew up piece of junk I contact the manufacturer they're not even replying to me so I'm giving them a terrible review because they won't even respond. I gave them a week now, and they won't respond to me. So, 
very unhappy with them. And it's too bad because the eSmart 3, it was uh, supposedly you could customize the charge current or the charge voltage for these batteries. Up here we got 3000 watt reliable <coughs> inverter here. And right here, I want it up and out of the way to keep dust and stuff off of it. But right, like 45 volts. Shut that off. There we go. And then we got the massive BMS with Bluetooth so I can see exactly from my phone what's going on. And then we did some work on the roof today. <coughs> we sucked it up and we did some work up there. Uh, man, I'm slipping and sliding everywhere. Sorry about that. <coughs> Let's get a climb up on the fender here. Oh boy. Here you go. You got. Oh, look at that. You got that piece of wood off there. <coughs> you got 530 watts of monocrystalline solar panels. That should help. I only had 125 watt before. So. They're on here pretty good. And yeah, can't wait to use the system. Hopefully don't have to. I, I sold my generator uh, that I usually use for work, so I upped the solar on my trailer uh, instead. Because dragging around that stupid generator everywhere, it weighs the same as this, this system, except for this cost me nothing to use now, and I paid for everything. And the generator was costing me daily, about 20 bucks daily, and I did not like that, so. Anyways, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed the video.